Hello, I'm um, Dog Boy Malone, and I'm here to um, expand your mind and tighten your grip on reality. And it's a very exciting episode today because we're talking about Richard Branson. Um, so bear with me and let's see how the video goes. Thank you. And I'm here with my friend Minge Dog, and as you can see, we're working very hard uh, on some lucky person's um, house that they're going to spend maybe 25 years paying for. So here's Minge Dog. And the exciting news is that up this ladder is a bit of a surprise. Let's have a look. And I've got some very exciting news, because at the top of this ladder we have um, a gentleman called Snake Branson, who is actually um, Richard Branson's long-lost twin brother. Hi, Snake. How do? How are you doing? There we go. Um, are you magnificent. Doing day, do you still love Richard? Oh, yeah, great, special man. Do you yeah. see him at Christmas occasionally? Uh, only when I, when I can afford to get a free flight out, you know. Yeah, that Mecca Island, eh? It's a bit of a bugger to pay yeah, for, isn't it? Yeah. But, you know, well, and there we go, this is um, Snake Branson, everybody. We're, we'll have a little bit more of a discussion in a bit about his brother Richard and other matters. So, thank you very much. But there is one thing about Richard Branson that actually I disagree with. Now, Richard Branson is a lovely guy, but there are some people that aren't that keen on him. And we're going to talk about why people do get a bit funny about Richard Branson and his, um, what is it, Chris? Virgin Galactic <laughs> flying around the moon stuff. Yeah. And, and we're going to talk about that now, so thank you, James. Thank you. You see, the thing with Richard Branson is I haven't really got a major problem with him. Um, you know, in fact, I am pretty much certain that he's going to offer me a job on Mecca Island after watching this video. Hi, Richard. Uh, but the thing is, um, you know, when I was at school, I watched this guy attempt to sail in a circular motion on this, uh, around this world or on this flat plane. Uh, and then a few years later, his mate went for a fly, uh, went flying, went missing. He died uh, and they found his wallet. And that was pretty upsetting. They found Richard Branson's mate's wallet and he died. Um, and I think that he fell out of Richard Branson, personally. But I still think that Richard Branson is a complete idiot. And here's why. And I do have to correct myself because he didn't sail. Um, he actually ballooned uh, on this circular motion around the globe. And, um, you know, here's Snake, his brother, and he's forgotten about Snake. So, Richard, bear a little bit of thought for Snake at Christmas time. You know, it's about time, mate, innit? Eh? And I do have to correct myself again because he didn't actually um, balloon around the globe. He ballooned in a circular motion. Uh, across the glo uh, globe, the, uh, the realm, you know, something like that. Oh, goodness me, I'm getting a little bit of trouble with old uh, Minge Dog here, so I'm just going to quickly wander off and try to get out of this situation. You see, the thing is, Richard Branson wants to take all your money, and he wants to um, fly you around the globe. Um, and he wants to um, get you through the Van Allen Belt, which pretty much is impossible, because that's the firmament. Or if you watch the Simpsons movie, that's the dome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not argue about Richard Branson. He's all right, OK, guys? Yeah, that's yeah. his twin brother. Come on, go easy, James. Richard's all right. <laughs> We're all friends here. Anyway, let's talk about Richard Branson being a complete idiot. And look, Richard, I just want to say I probably am interested in that job on Mecca Island, uh, if the price is right. Um, but this is no, by no means an insult to you, because you're probably quite a nice guy, you know? Richard Branson, the guy that owns Virgin. I know, let's make a company, what should we call it? Hey, let's call it Virgin. Nothing weird about that. And also, we had Virgin Records. I guess you only play them once, so I don't know. And also, um, Virgin Trains, uh, as my friend um, Minge Dog said to me earlier on when he actually said a few words. Uh, you go on a train once and then they have to throw it away? I don't know. Snake, um, we're going to the shop there, buddy. Do you want anything? Oh, I'm okay, thank you. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Alright there, buddy, okay, no problem at all. We're soon a little bit there. Yeah, I've got a couple of little bottles of wine going on in the background. Yeah, I like your style. Keep up the good work and don't cry too much about your brother Richard, because he is a bit of an idiot sometimes. As we all are sometimes. I mean, believe it or not, sometimes I'm an idiot, although that's probably hard to imagine. Uh, 
um, uh, Snake, it's been an absolute pleasure. Yeah, it's been I, a pleasure I, too. I, I think you will bond back with your brother at some stage. Yeah. Uh, what are these for, these boxes? Uh, well, they're there for Terminal 4 Heathrow, and I've, I've got a load of aircraft, you know, so. I must crack on with these small boxes. Yeah. Of I'll let him know how hard you've the worked. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, probably send him one of these parcels. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Well, I hope there's not a nasty surprise in there for him, you know? No. no Just no, wait for Christmas be. there, Snake. That's and it. Hopefully you'll get a big hug. I'll uh, hopefully see you soon. And okay. Subscribe and um, I'll have a little web of rich for you. Okay. God bless you there, sir. Yeah. Bye, mate. Bye. That's Snake, and no one messes with Snake, because that's Richard Branson's brother. And Richard Branson is an idiot, but Snake is not. Send him the trowel and send it on a one-way ticket up his... go um that was very exciting stuff about richard branson and we got to work with his brother so that's always a bonus um you know i'm not knocking branson too much but he obviously is a little bit silly if he thinks that you can get through the van alan bell uh, but if he's going to get the money for it then why not anyway until the next time be good take care god bless <laughs>